Hello guys, welcome back to yet another review video. In this video, we'll review Oxygen OS 11.0.3.3 for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro. I've been using this OS from the day it was released almost a week before. And trust me guys, this is one of the stable Android 11 build for OnePlus 8 series. All the major issues which were present on the previous open beta and stable builds have been fixed with this latest update. And users are still reporting issues related to green tint. So one thing let me clear, green tint issue has been fixed by OnePlus and now whatever color issues you guys have been facing, we have to deal with that. And I don't think OnePlus will be more optimizing the color issues what you have been facing on OnePlus 8 series. And this video I have picked up issues from the comment section. So whatever issues you have reported in the video, I have almost covered everything. And few bugs I'll mention which I used to personally face. First issue was related to Wo Wi-Fi and most of the cases Wo Wi-Fi used to disconnect. And that issue is still present if I use dual SIM card. But if I use single SIM card on my device, I don't face any kind of disconnection issues related to Wi-Fi calling. So that issue I don't think is related to software. It might be an issue from operator side. Because when I used to use Geo SIM card and my Airtel SIM card, most of the cases Wo Wi-Fi used to disconnect. But after I have started using only Airtel SIM card on my device, till now I haven't faced any kind of issues with Wi-Fi calling. Few users have also been reporting issues related to call drops. But on this build, I haven't faced any kind of issues yet. Do check your app version of phone application. And if you still face any kind of issues, try to clear the storage and caches from the phone app settings. Navigation gesture was the major problem on the previous builds. And after updating the device to the latest stable version of Oxygen OS, which comes with the updated launcher which is version 5.0.2.3 and with this update, till now I haven't got any kind of complaints related to navigation gestures. If you guys are still facing that issue, then drop a comment in the comment section below. On the previous build of Oxygen OS, Wideband security level was level 3 and the same was on Open Beta 5. I still saw a few comments in the comment section that few users are still having Wideband security level as L3. But in my case, on my OnePlus 8, which is running stable version of Oxygen OS 11.0.3.3, Wideband security level is L1. And security level might vary depending on the region. There are lots of users who are facing issues with the colors in applications like Chrome. While scrolling, color keeps changing and which kind of irritates. So there is a fix for that. You guys open your Chrome and type this in the address bar. After that, in the search tab, you need to search for dynamic and later disable this dynamic color option. That will fix all the color issues what you have been facing on Chrome. We also get lots of comments related to bubble support. And let me clear one thing, bubble support is still not completely implemented on Oxygen OS. Few users report that it's working. I've also personally tested bubble support doesn't work on my device too. So these were the few minor issues which were reported by users on a previous video. And as I said, this is one of the finest Android 11 build for OnePlus 8 series, which can be used as daily driver. Now let's talk about the battery segment, which is one of the major concern of all OnePlus users. And as I say in my every video, that battery backup depends on tons of factors, so it will be completely different for every individual. Here is the battery backup what I have been getting. With first cycle, I got 3 hours and 38 minutes of screen on time, in which I did a lot of gaming. With second cycle, I got 5 hours and 56 minutes of screen on time, which is close to 6 hours. With my normal usage, and normal gaming. On third cycle I got 6 hours and 9 minutes of screen on time again with normal usage and normal gaming. Fourth cycle I got around 5 hours and 2 minutes of screen on time again with heavy gaming. And these are the results of battery drain overnight. On day 1 I noticed only 2% of battery drain within 7 hours. On day 2 I noticed 9% of battery drain in 8 hours. So overall I am happy with the battery part on my OnePlus 8. It's improved a lot if I compare it with the previous builds. So now let's talk about the camera performance. Basically OnePlus haven't done any kind of improvements related to camera over the previous builds. A new feature have been added so whenever you switch to front camera, you'll see this green LED besides the camera. And most users think that it's a feature like iOS, which is a privacy feature. Let me clear one thing, it's not a feature of privacy. They have just added this green LED to just know the camera position, nothing else. And as I said, there are no major camera improvements done. Here are a few pictures clicked with front and back camera. And I also don't have any kind of complaints related to camera segment. If you have good lighting condition, you get more details and better colors if you click pictures in good lighting condition. I'm planning to do a complete camera review and we'll do a voting on the same. If you guys agree to it, you'll soon see a camera review video of OnePlus 8 after the update of Oxygen OS 11. 
Last but not the least, let's also talk about the performance of OnePlus 8 series after this latest update. This is the RAM usage what I have been getting with my regular usage. And this will vary for every individual depending on their usage pattern. With my usage pattern, I would say slight higher RAM usage is to be seen if I compare it with the previous builds. And currently this is the only primary device in which I do gaming. And again, I don't have any kind of complaints related to gaming. The performance is top notch. Initially we had those touch issues while playing few games and those issues have been taken care by OnePlus. Initially I used to face slight heating issues but gradually that became normal. You guys let me know in the comment section below how is the gaming performance for you guys on this latest build of Oxygen OS 11.0.3.3. So guys, this was a complete review of Stable Oxygen OS 11.0.3.3 for OnePlus 8 series. If you still have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.